all right so what we're going to focus on is all about looking at some guidelines when um, doing academic research especially in postgraduate so yeah it depends which university or institution that you're in um, so sometimes even undergraduate you might do research but this is mainly you know if you're at that level where you're doing postgraduate so depending on your country so after maybe your first graduation postgraduate will be your next graduation where now your studies are really becoming um, research driven so there are a couple of factors that we want to talk about today so guidelines for proposal so i want we'll look at what to consider first when looking maybe at the topic and then also we look at the structure of the actual proposal and in essence what you need to write like under the structure because sometimes um it could be a lonely journey because in postgraduate it's you and your supervisor but you you must do most of the work where you're doing your own research and kind of like finding your feet then you know reaching out to your supervisor so it's kind of like you because you are a student at that time with a student that is kind of um i would say mature or a student that is able to take you know learning responsibility so this will also assist you in that so we're going to talk about a couple of things so firstly let's talk about um let's talk about factors to consider so we're going to talk about um some factors um to consider in testing the feasibility of your research topic so there are various factors um that you need to consider um and then we'll talk about them so the first one you know it's all about um is the research topic relevant to your discipline so depending whatever your discipline is you could be in business then in business you could be in logistics you could be in marketing you could be in law you could be in criminal law you could be in business law you could be in medicine so wherever where you are actually doing research so you, you need to say you know you need to consider this this is a fact is there just to- topic that you're thinking about relevant to your discipline um of that you know and then after that you then need to think of and 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 kind of the next factor will be will the research topic be sufficient to keep you interested and motivated so that's the most important one i would say because in in this journey it is when you know you you are kind of like going on alone there's no one chasing you so will there is a topic that you'll be choosing is it suffice is it sufficient in terms of keeping you interested and motivated maybe for 2 to 4 years sometimes 6 years um or, or however long it will take for you to complete your research so that's the next thing you actually need to think about and then also you need to think about will this research topic or if it's a trend still be relevant in the next 5 years so because i mean if you if you start a topic um currently because you will be working on this topic um for quite some time so you need to think will it be relevant when i'm about to finish will i still so it's actually linked to the second so will you still be interested and motivated to to still continue because it's very important to take that into consideration as well and then another one you you have to also think have you identified a suitable research gap so it's quite important that you find a suitable research gap and research gaps it could be for example from journal articles or masters or doctorate theses from other or dissertations from other authors or academics um so you know is is it a research gap is it researchable you know um and also in the knowledge is is it going to increase the knowledge and understanding in terms of you know academics within your field um and then also then on top of that you need to bring it in within your literature review to justify 
you know have you identified a suitable research gap example um so if we just uh, Included here, if you identify the suitable research gap, example, journal articles and master's and doctorate theses. Um, so these gaps in the knowledge um, on understanding to justify the research topic. So it all needs to go together. If you come up with the research topic, so hence the research starts before you do the actual field work, which is the actual research of you coming out with the results. You need to research if my interest is it a researcher is there a gap in, in in knowledge out there so the body of knowledge or in the understanding will my research you know be adding something of value so that's one thing that you also need to um, think of when you're coming up with your um, your research topic and then also you need to consider and think will you be able to get permission so for example from a company to access maybe the data or talk to respondents that you need to conduct your primary research um, amongst. So that's another factor that you need to consider that, and, and you need to answer. Will you be able to get permission? For example, if you're doing research um, about a certain company, maybe you want to access their data, will you be able to access the data? Or if you want to talk to respondents, you're going to do a quantitative survey, Will you get permission to talk to the respondents? Where are the respondents? So those are the things that you need to consider. Okay, so and another one is, can the research topic be empirically tested uh, or stated differently? Or is the research topic researchable? So it's very important that it is um, empirical. So... That's another factor that we need to consider. Can the research topic be empirically tested or stated differently? Or is the research topic researchable? So whenever someone talks about it, does it sound like it's something that's, you know, can be tested and or stated differently? And is, it, is the research topic researchable? Then another factor that we need to consider, you need to consider, do you have the money the time and the abilities to co to implement the research topic. For example, you may need to travel to several different parts of your country, depending where you are saying your research. For example, maybe if you are someone, maybe in South Africa, and then all of a sudden you say you want to do research in America, so you need to think: Are you able going to go? Are you going to be able to go to America? Do you have money to travel? You know, do you have funding? Um, it's a field work and sometimes um, you, you're a student from you know, within the same country but you're staying in another place and then you're thinking of, oh, I see a gap in wherever I'm coming from. I'd like to understand the youth. However, as a student at that time, is it realistic for you? Because when you conduct your field work, you will need to travel. You need to go collect your data using surveys or even sometimes if you're using um you know online but for that control you know you would some if you're doing maybe qualitative you would need to go there um if you're not doing um online research so th that's another thing you need to consider is it online is it offline um as as, as another factor so another one does the research topic have practical and theoretical implications which could be used to make recommendations and contributions to knowledge or an existing problem or a situation. So this actually means your topic, is it theoretical implications? Is it gonna contribute back? Is, is, it, is it gonna contribute to the body of knowledge in terms of you know, academics? And then also practical implications will then be in terms of the industry or whatever field that you wanna do your research in. It has it have a practical implication which could you know be useful in terms of what you're going to recommend which is going to contribute to the knowledge uh, or an existing problem or situation as well then another factor which is the final one that i want us to talk about is the topic significant enough to warrant the research very powerful is the topic significant enough to warrant the research you know ask so what who cares 
<laughs> yeah so what and who cares will an opportunity be missed if the research is not conducted very powerful and it's the last one that you need to consider when you're talking about your topic you know is the topic significant enough um does it warrant the research so the fun one is the topic significant enough to warrant the research um so what if you do the research and who cares if you do the research if you can understand if you can unpack those then it means your topic is then you know it will provide an opportunity and if if you don't do it will an opportunity be missed if you say yes you know to any of these or you you able to answer the so what or who cares then you would know that you know the the topic that you've chosen is a solid topic that you need to then um consider going for so yeah so these are the factors that are very important whenever you're considering or testing the feasibility of the viability of a certain research topic so this would be a trial and error it's not overnight you need to sometimes read a lot before you start you read multiple articles um dissertations uh, master's theses within the, the the topic that you want so look what others have done um just to get some inspiration as well look at the industry um and then just bring it all together so these are the factors um that are quite um essential uh, whenever you are thinking of a research topic